Hello, I'm Mark Hello4, and today we're going to be learning how to use the river tool in CryEngine. Uh, so, for today's lesson, uh, uh, what we are going to be planning to do is fill this valley here with water. So, what you're going to start by doing is going to your Create Object tab and finding miscellaneous, and then here you'll see a river tool. Click on it. Uh, now you're going to want to build your river in a sort of flat environment so you don't want any bumps so what you're going to do is just click keep clicking uh, make sure you trace completely uh, the riverbed that you're going to be putting in keep going and then once you've finished uh, to put the last point on uh, just double click as with most things in the engine Okay, uh, one here, uh, one here, and let's just go right here. So now we have our sort of baseline of our river going through. Next, go into properties, and um, here you'll notice there is a width. Uh, so you're going to increase that until it covers everywhere across your river. go for 10 for now let's have a look that should cover everything looks like it does unfortunately I won't be able to get the ends in but you can sort of lift them up I'll edit the train in a minute so that we can deal with that but next lift up to the highest level that you want it out make sure that there's no edges hitting out okay so once you've done that go into your material editor um, we'll be using the game uh, games SDK here to uh, to get all our assets uh, go to water water volumes and then you can choose all these different things let's have a look at some of them and choose one we want make sure you got it selected as well so now you can choose between the ones that they have in the editor so plenty of different ones that you can choose from here that looks quite nice cave no canyon river maybe uh, I think we'll go for rough looks good mm, or maybe rapids yeah rapids looks good and there you go that's how you do it and then what you're gonna see is that at the end there is uh, a bit of a gap so what you're going to do is just get your terrain editor and just uh, grab a little tool like this, bring it up so it's at the end. Uh, depending on what you're doing, this may be easier or less easy to do until you cover all of the light blue line. And then flatten it. Uh, sorry, smooth it. Uh, I got that high up. There we go. Uh, so that's how you can do that. Uh, what you also notice is that straight away, unlike other uh, game engines, it actually automatically um, it automatically makes it swimmable. So if I went into game mode here, you know, I can now jump into it and I'll be swimming. Uh, so that's the easy way to get a river. You can also do the same sort of thing for lakes, although it's slightly different. But yeah, thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.